Hi, it's Dwyer. May the 10th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, we take risks here. Right? There are times when I'm going to break with the public in search of extra base hits. This is one of those times. I need for you to understand the risk involved in what I'm saying. The New York Knicks have energized New York City. They're up two games to none on the Indiana Pacers. Right? It's my belief that the Knicks have won their last game of this basketball season. I believe one of the most compelling bets on the board right here. And look, don't overdo it, right? This is a speculation. One of the most compelling bets on the board right here with the Knicks up two games to none, with comparisons being made between Jalen Brunson and Willis Reed, right? Just understand the Pacers are a plus 14.92 that is just a smidge under 15 to 1 to win the Eastern Conference now I understand Brunson is back Julius Randle is not Bogdanovich is not you now have Ananobi who's injured hamstring problem the kind of thing that doesn't repair itself quickly. Of course, Mitchell Robinson is also out. Folks, the Knicks are weakened. They're facing an offensively blessed Pacer team. Pacers faded in Game 2. Understand, with different officiating, Game 1 may have turned out differently. I'm expecting the Pacers to win the next two games. The key game for me here is going to be game five in New York, right? If the Pacers win game five in New York, I believe they win game six in Indy. In other words, I believe this series will go like the Phoenix Milwaukee Buck finals went a few years ago, right? One team loses the first two, then storms back and wins the next four. Understand, even if the Knicks win Game 5, the Pacers would have a shot in Game 7 because the Pacers have much more depth than the Knicks. Much more depth at this point. Folks, I appreciate what the Knicks have done. Tibbs, their head coach, has done a masterful job. No question about it. They're just too injured. Let me also say, too, that I question a team that relies on one player as much as the Knicks rely on Jalen Brunson. I like the Pacers here. Understand, too, I believe the Goliath in the conference still, after a loss, on their home court to the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Goliath in the conference is still the Boston Celtics. Understand these Tatum Brown Celtics routinely surprise you by losing games you think they have everything in their favor going into. It was just last round where they lost a game to the Miami Heat. It was as if they couldn't figure out that Miami was a three-point shooting team and then they watched Miami shooting the lights out and let them take the shots. Well, yesterday, Donovan Mitchell put on a show and no one could stop him. Right? No one could stop him. It was so bad that Mitchell at one point hit a three, turned to the crowd in Boston and stared at them. Right? The Celtics were off. It's inexplainable. Right? Understand, certain teams in basketball 
the Bulls, right? Certain teams would show up. They would be emotionless. There were entire games where neither Jordan nor Pippen cracked a smile. And they would play their game. They had a certain level of consistency that the Celtics simply don't have in the Tatum and Brown era. Now that said, they are the best team by far in the Eastern Conference. So one of my motivations here in taking the Pacers at almost 15 to 1 odds is to have a cheap hedge for the next round of the playoffs. Even with the Cavaliers, right, winning the regular season series against Boston, and even with the Cavs just beating Boston on Boston's home court and snatching home court advantage, right? Just understand the Cavs are still without Jared Allen. Just understand uh, Tristan Thompson played about as good as he could play yesterday. Certain things are unsustainable to me for the Cavaliers. Right, Boston really does have more firepower. Uh, several guys on Boston yesterday, Derek White comes to mind, uh, couldn't hit the side of a bar. Right, Boston seems to pick the same game to all have off days. I'm expecting Boston to bounce back in that series. I'm expecting the Pacers down 0-2. Right, to my favorite team. I'm expecting the Pacers to storm back. I'm expecting the players to eventually figure out that the Knicks simply don't have all hands on deck. The problems the Knicks have are severe. Nick injuries are so severe that we're to believe with an ankle problem where he was able to come back, you know, yesterday that Jalen Brunson is going to uh, be able to you know, play at a high level. You and I know the way swelling happens, right? I'm sure that ankle isn't close to 100%. But of course, the Nick injury list is so deep that you consider Brunson to be one of the healthier guys, right? So the Knicks are too injured to hang with this Pacer team. I'm expecting the Pacers to blow them out the building. In game three, I'm expecting the over 222 and a half in game three. I'm expecting the Pacers to then follow it up, win game four. And then all eyes need to be on game five in New York. Right? If the Knicks can't hold serve, folks, in my opinion, the series won't make it to a game seven. Those are my views, again, so high risk that you're getting almost a 15 to 1 on the Pacers right now to win the Eastern Conference. I don't expect the Pacers to win the Eastern Conference. I think it's Boston. But of course, I don't have a problem being on both sides of the play. I'm not trying to be right. I'm just trying to make a profit. Right? Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.